I read the story of these passengers who were flying in a plane. And uh, there grew some turbulence and storm. And it was shaking the plane. It was not easy and everybody was frightened and they got scared, afraid for their lives. But then there was this 10-year-old boy who did not seem uh, perturbed at all. He seemed to be calm. Uh, well, everyone was scared and saying all manner of prayers, the gentleman, the little boy, was just relaxed and calm. When they disembarked, some people asked him, but, but we saw you in the plane and you didn't seem like you were disturbed. What was the issue? The young boy said, I was not troubled because my father is the pilot of this flight. And I know he has experience. He's been flying for many years and I was sure that he was going to pilot and captain us to safety until we land. We will serve an almighty God who has been through these turbulences before. The Bible says he came down and he lived our life. He knows how to deal with the issues of this life. And when you trust Jesus with your life, you can go to bed and sleep. You can have the peace that comes from God. With Jesus in the vessel, I said we can smile in the storm. He said, I will be with you. In fact, I read from the book of Psalms, chapter 46 and verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. He wants to be with you in trouble. He comes down to be with you in trouble. I read the story of the three Hebrew boys who were thrown into the fiery furnace, but Jesus came and he was with them. He came, he was with them. I read the story of Daniel in Daniel chapter 6. He was thrown into the den of lions. Jesus came using an angel and he shut up the mouths of the lions and they could not touch this man. You are not alone, my friend, because Jesus is with you.